right, guys. So finishing off after Murph. Congratulations to everybody that did it. All right, uh, we've got Tuesday, May 29th. What we're looking at here, guys, we're going to have a strength piece followed by a workout. For the strength piece, we're trying to keep it on the tight schedule, so we've got 15-minute time window to get this done. So we've got five sets of three. Sumo deadlift, every single rep will have a three-second lower or negative. Okay. Um, during this, you got five sets, so probably looking at about one every three minutes, give or take. That way we're you know, fully recovered each time we step up to that bar. And we're picking a loading that is gonna be moderate, too heavy, but you should probably still be able to get about one, maybe, or two reps if you could or needed to. So it's not like it's a three rep max each set, right? So something that is definitely gonna be heavy on that loading, right? This is a newer movement, so we'll definitely break it down and talk about it in 15 minutes to get that piece done, right? Going into the workout, every two minutes for 10 minutes. So we've got five rounds of this. We've got 10 total bar, 30 double unders, and then 10 deadlifts. Regular deadlifts, conventional feet underneath the hips, 185 and 125. Now, I know we all just did Murph. Those total bar may be a little bit you know, hard due to you know, blisters, rips, or just raw hands. If that's the case today, we can do V-ups, uh, to scale for the toe to bar today. That's perfectly fine. Very double under scaling is normal. And the loading on the deadlifts, 185, 125, that's the prescribed loading. But something that is going to be challenging, but we can push for those, you know, probably 10 unbroken each time. So we have a little bit of rest before that next two minute block does start. All right? Get after it.